In this video, we'll be discussing the concept of gross, tear, and net weight values. It's very important that you understand the difference between these weight values and how to view them on your HSS field scale system. The tear weight is typically the weight of a container that's used to hold the fruit that you're trying to weigh. So in this instance, we have a bowl, and the bowl itself would be the tear weight value. So if we wanted to set the tear weight, we would set it on the scale and press tear. Notice that when we've done that, the scale has switched to the net weighing mode. And then when blueberries are placed into the scale, we can see that the value of the net weight increases, meaning that we're only displaying on the scale the value or the weight value of the blueberries that you're weighing inside of your tear container. The gross weight is everything that's on the scale. So the gross weight is defined as the weight of the fruit inside of the lug and the weight of the lug itself, or everything that's located on the scale base. Notice that when we remove the con tear container from the scale, when it's in the net weighing mode, it shows the negative value of the saved tear weight. When I put another empty tear uh, container on the scale, it goes back to zero net because that's what we set it at and there's no fruit inside of that container currently. There is a way that you can toggle through and view these different weights on your HSS field scale system, and that's by using the select button. So notice we're in the net weighing mode. If I press the select button once, it's displaying the tear weight. Now I'm actually placing my hand on the scale and you can see the motion indicator over here when I'm pushing on the scale, meaning that the scale is actually detecting a change in the signal, but we're not showing that change in the weight because the scale is displaying a tear value, which was programmed or saved into the scale when we set it on there and press the tear button. So don't be alarmed if it seems like your scale is frozen or locked out, just make sure that you're in the proper weight mode. And if you need to change it, pressing the select button again gets you back to the gross mode. Again, the gross would be everything that's on the scale. Okay, and then if we go to the net weighing mode by pressing the select button again, we're now showing you only the weight of the blueberries inside of your container. When you're using your harvest scale system, we recommend that you leave it in the net weight mode, and that's automatically triggered when you place a, a container on the scale to be teared, and then press the tear key automatically changes to the net weighing mode. Thank you so much for watching.